That's annoying. Let me, um, let me get some shit fixed because of that. Oh my god, dude. I'm really tempted to not use Restream anymore, to be honest, when, whenever shit like that happens. And we're back. We've got to fix a couple things because of that, though. Uh, but we should be good. Should be good. If for some reason Steam started downloading Monster Hunter World, it like continued to download for some reason. Uh, that's what happened just now. That's why my stream died because Steam just decided to start a download for no fucking reason, even though I still have a game open and it's not supposed to do that. But fuck me, I guess. Ugh. Give me just a second. Yep. All right. I gotta fix the title. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I mean, as long as Steam doesn't just start a download all on its own for no reason, it should happen again. This is useful. We've got visuals on V4's AC assembly. That's not enough. Or MT. Stop! What are you doing here? Looks like they're out scavenging. Very interesting. This could be worth something. Can you imagine being the guy piloting that MT? All of a sudden, the fucking this AC shows up out of nowhere, launches twenty missiles in your face. They're just floating there. AC pilot, you're no <laughs> are you? Wait, you. You killed them all. A liberation force. Just hold this up if you engage her. The mission comes before everything else. 
Oh, my shot's missed. Wanted to kill little Z. <laughs> Looks like you found pay dirt 621. We've still got time, but we've checked out every promising wreck. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Everything seems to have stabilized now. I'm, I'm really not sure restream is even worth the trouble, to be honest. I, I'm really tempted to not even bother. These built even meant to be shit. It was meant to be shit. I mean, it's slightly better now, right? Because um, they buffed. Actually, did this even get buffed? Actually, I don't think this got buffed, did it? They didn't buff the uh, grenade launchers, did they? It was just the bazookas, right? Or did nade launchers also get, uh, get a buff? Oh, I got... A general buff. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. Investigate Bouse Arsenal number two. I've been checking the perimeter, and I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? It's too quiet. Not a great loadout for this mission. I forgot I could scan. <laughs> They do look sick. Confirmed. Unidentified mechs destroyed. Keep going, 621. Is that a coral response? 621, get down and take a closer look. God, you know what I want so bad? There's a game I want really, really badly. It's Armored Core plus Elite Dangerous, if you know what Elite Dangerous is. It's a space fight. It's basically a space simulator. But like, just imagine being able to, like, not only pilot a big-ass fucking spaceship, but to be able to launch an Armored Core out of it. 
comp for combat. Oh my god. Or just for like ground maneuvers. Planet side stuff. Holy shit, dude. I would do some degenerate things to get that to be a thing. Another dealt with. Stay focused, 621. Two repair kits remaining. I about to say, is it Lancer? I didn't mean like an actual video game that's like literally just take Elite Dangerous and Armored Core and just sew them together. Like I like literally just put them together. Just let me build like deploy the ship uh deploy the armored core from the ship. Like you can like a ship launch fighter. I want it so fucking bad, dude. Change. I see you've got a new bench. Huh. One new message. I just imagine the game with the same scale as Elite Dangerous, with the expiration. Of like elite dangerous and the combat elite dangerous, but also the combat of armored core. That was just a drip coming from an underground vein, and it won't Oh my god! It's not one life's this you'll see. Like elite dangerous, but instead when you like want to go planet side, instead of deploying some little shitty SRV. You know, some little rover. You deploy a fucking mech. Like, come on, dude. It would be so fucking good. Ugh. I want it so bad. I, I think it's literally the number one You'll thing I want in video games moment. right now. It's just this plus Elite Dangerous. Combat mode. Leave no evidence. If anyone sees you, handle it. Code one five. Intruder sighted. Just one AC. Who are they with? We can look yeah, I've played on No Man's Sky, and it's like, it's only like halfway there, bro. It's not quite exactly what I'm looking for. I want to be able to do space combat with the mech's tomb. Like, let me deploy my mech, like, in space combat, and have my ship, like, backing me up. God, oh, dude. Man, I've played No Man's Sky in a while. I did really enjoy that game. To the next area. Where did that AC come from? What happened to the patrol squad? But it doesn't have like the depth and quality of combat that I want. You're exposed to snipers from all quarters. Keep moving or they'll shoot you down. Code 
I mean, the lead dangerous added mechs that play like armored core mechs to their game. I'd literally never play anything else, I think. Fuck me, dude. Last time I played, the best way to make money in in um Enemy systems down. It's silent. in No Man's Sky was literally just get the the Sentinel ships and sell them. The other ones you don't like, and you just made like a ridiculous amount of money. A friend of mine sent me this observational data. Augmented human, C4621, entering standard mode. I need one Raven. Raven, I am with... Weapon here I could use for a bit more. We. Alrighty. Maybe for this mission, I'd rather want to use these, anyways.
system. Activating combat mode. How many missiles do I get? Quite a bit. Let's head toward the elevator going to the upper level. Wow, these uh, missiles kind of suck, huh? They just like dash close to you. Don't work. Although I guess Rummy probably gonna be unique in that point. That he's always gonna be rushing straight at you. Most the NPCs aren't going to be rushing you that hard. I hope the missiles work well on this boss. I think it might be decent. So be careful of my spacing. Well, I think I was wrong. That worked. Nice. I heard you were good. Maybe this might be better on this build. So I do like this. Out. 
gonna be enough? No. There we go. Yeah, pretty much in that glow. There we go. It was a little annoying. Part of me is kind of tempted to use a flamethrower despite how much they hurt my eyes. How much spam. Just, uh, you know, hit them with the fucking flamethrowers and then the fucking... Oh, did I get guys I got nothing to stagger them with before I hit them with the 16s, no huh? Yeah, never mind. Do that. Raven, we've received a job from RAD's leader, Carla. This could just... I want to keep the Sweet 16s on for the whole run, I think. Your handler didn't authorize this sortie either. I suppose I could use the chainsaw, actually, yeah. Uh, hit him with the flamethrower, get the stagger of the chainsaw. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's get rolling, tourist. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. They're already moving in. Let's handle Hey! We got an AC! Never seen one like that before. Must have got a sweet deal from Carla. Send in the punchers and kickers! I get a bit more, uh, kind of aim, pick my targets a bit better than the aperture. It's my turn to help you. You know, I realized something recently, and I keep doing it, but I'm mispronouncing the name by a mile. Business. Keep. And not even close. It's Apparitif. Apparitif? Like that? It's certainly not Aperitif. <laughs> <laughs> This one should be pretty easy, right? Because isn't uh, isn't the spider weak to explosives? <laughs> yeah, I was. Thinking. Yeah, apparitif. I just totally misread it the first time I saw it, and it just stuck with me. Here we go, tourist. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. Yep. 
Fairy Thief? Thief. It says how to pronounce, but oh wait, I forgot about it. I forgot I had to do that. To go straight to the top of the grid, the outer shell. Sadly, that's beyond my territory. I mean, once you're out there, the PCA satellites see everything. A few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge, went out to prove themselves. You can guess what happened. Did the bonk on my on the fucking bridge. It almost made me fall short. A fairy thief? Something like that then? Might as well clean up while you're here, tourist. Never did care for the upstairs neighbors. Absolutely melted. Fires by this man taken the institute. The dirty work survived. What? I was wondering if you could. You can. I was wondering about this, but you can indeed reload the. Um, um, these missiles. The idea of reloading missiles is a bit weird, but you can indeed do it. That was quite the show, tourist. How about we get Well, manual reload at least is a Hop in the container. I'll operate the launcher from here. I went in the wrong one. Brace yourself. I mean, was anyone really expecting the spider to be difficult for this build? Let's be honest. By the way, tourist. But the Sweet 16's absolutely slap. It's weak to explosives, so the missiles do really good damage. Augmented human C4 six. Like that plus kick and you know assault armor. One new message. 
I don't think it was really any ever chance of uh, the spider being difficult. Fuck that guy in particular. <gasps> That went poorly. This should be the last one. You and the AC! What are you doing here? Looks like their MTs just got out. Shut them down. Poor uh, H team. Poor tetrapod, I guess. You got there, Team Raven. Looks like you ruffled some feathers. Taking their drones back to HQ. I want you to find them and stop them. I hate that I can't kill those uh, MTs in one kick. I think that could have gone much worse than it did.
think everybody wants a PTA DLC, to be honest. Or at least some form of adaption of their parts for ACs. I just meant to walk to the edge. Hey Raven, it's me, Rusty. And it's only 11 o'clock. I'd say check the briefing. Ooh, yeah. Raven, I guess for this. Mm, I have like I want to stream today. I think I'll at least get uh beat the ice worm mission on this run, the bare minimum. I've got more time now that RuneScape's double XP is over, so. Even including time to get a video made. I've got plenty of time. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. Take out the PCA forces and head for the energy refinery plant. Code 1 5. Contact. By the way, any preferences from you guys about. Tomorrow's schedule, would you rather have um, a video at normal time and then uh, start the stream like an hour later than I normally do? Or... Or just start uh, a Monster Hunter stream at my normal time? You see that, 621? That domes your refinery plant. I've updated your marker data. Head for the target. Code 5, unknown AC. Must be after the plant. Contain the situation. Terminate it. Looks like an independent mercenary assembly. Leave the analysis to the Collect any corporate data you can find. The system. Wait. Code 1 5. It's that AC. Terminate it. I mean, I'm going to stream Monster Hunter no matter what tomorrow. It's just a question of whether I start at my normal time or I start a little bit later, but I also get a video out. That's the refinery plant. But no matter what, I'm streaming Monster Hunter tomorrow. Code 5. Hostile AC sighted. Requesting backup from the system. Code 78. Unless for some reason I'm like literally not able to. Target destroyed. Our work here is done, 62. Raven, I'm picking this up in the stratosphere. It's approaching fast. I've identified PCA SP Special Forces. We can't afford to take chances. 621, eliminate them. I dodged the wrong way. PCA SP machines. They're highly mobile executioners for priority targets, piloted by the PCA's elites. Focus on one at a time, 621. One down. Go three with Charlie. The lieutenant is down. 
They've got catch they've got such cool weapons though, Brendan. Oh my god, dude, the fucking like laser spear thing the one has, I want that so bad. As an actual weapon. I want it so damn bad, dude. One new message. Archivist Group Mercenary Liaison. V8 Pater here. Impressive work on the refueling basis. V uh, uh, wait. But honestly, I agree, dude. Like, the shield LCs are way more dangerous, in my opinion. Like, way harder to kill, at least. The shield LCs could, like, actually be really tedious to kill. I swear, dude. Their shields are so good. I really we kind of got this too far. Main system activating combat mode. Oh, I forgot what mission this was. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance teams. If they get a read on you, this operation is over. If you pick up a capture camera tracking, take cover or quickly destroy it. No sign of the target, it seems. Perhaps he's out on night watch. I almost never use that catapult. Target confirmed. It's swimming. No reason to. Kind of weird that it's even there. Let's go. What do you think you're playing at? Wait, you're not one of mine. Another ambusher? Even they can get up there pretty easily, though. I guess unless you mean for like the the non AC. One new message. Raven. You know, lore catapult. <laughs> I haven't done this mission in a while. Let's do this one. Main 
system. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy the planetary closure administration. All six into the I'm grateful for your assistance, Raven. The targets are staking <laughs> two camps. Attack one, and the other will move to... HC detected. It's an enforcement machine. Special... We're under attack. Cancel the maintenance. Get the HC online now. Did the corporation fire you? They must be confident to come here alone. No matter. This beauty's more than a match for some patchwork HC. Damn, the Sweet 16's fucked this thing up. Jeez. And obviously, we're doing the Walter route, right? I was already. I was already. <laughs> it was already not a question. That's why I never even talked about what route I was planning to do because, I mean, obviously, we're doing the Walter route. What does it even mean? Daisy cutters gonna daisy cut? What does that even mean? <laughs> oh man. No new messages. Raven, do you hate my The other HC fight went pretty well. I kind of want to see what the uh... wait is that like an actual thing? There you go. I didn't realize um, Daisy Code was like the actual like name of a thing. Now for the cataphrag. aren't really that many great options, huh? Seems the liberation for main system activating combat mode. <laughs> Rubicon Corp. 
operations playground. We have law and order under the PCA's watch. It must be your license. I wasn't expecting them to instantly stagger. Don't want to side with Balaam and blow shit up. The ECM fog is going to interfere with <laughs> calm until it's disabled. Follow the beacons left with the survey drone. Maybe, yeah. I really don't know what all they're doing, so I don't know if I can say without. The ECM won't interfere with our contact, but it is a fact. This must be a beacon left by the server team. I'll use markers to track them. You can use them if you lose your way. Unknown intruder detected. Mobilization process. Look, I've located an ECM fog control device. See if you can access it. Let's keep looking, Raven. Intrusion attempt persisting. Normalization process A. Okay. Second fog control device located. Oh, I brought that on myself. I literally blew it up in my own face. Control device Let's find the next one. AP. Intrusion detected. Normalization process sinking. Two repair kits remaining. And Sweet 16's into the missile, into the kick, which puts them in range or uh, like in the, like the, the sweet spot for the missiles. Seems pretty good. I've set a marker for it. Let's check it out. Raven, that's the last of the control devices. You'll we'll have Walter back after this. Do they see a full volley of missiles? Take them down, I'll clean up the mess. Or it's just one of... Yeah, they didn't need the full volley, okay.
That'll be handy later in the sniper missions. Or the defense mission was the snipers. You know what I'm talking Are you serious? Back at bounds. This ball so much. Hey, dude, who designed this shit? It's not like a not, it's not a hard boss or anything. It's just so fucking annoying. No. It's like every time I do this boss, I end up having to bait it back inside the fucking map. By like hiding behind a building. I have to like literally bait it to stay inside the map. Time to see, tourist. <sighs> so I, I really just, even as annoying as Thumb Domayan is, with the way he always like hides under like the bridges and shit, I still prefer Domayan over the fucking helicopter. Get to your position. We did arrive in schedule. I suppose they're neither of us. Are you kidding me? One volley of missiles isn't enough? Oh, no. That's not good. That's what I like to see, Taurus. I almost pity the poor fools. That's really unfortunate.
spawn. Look at all those coyotes. Don't let them slip past you. Yeah, but you there are like pretty easy ways to deal with those. Like assault armor is pretty good. Uh, quite a few weapons are really good at it. Third wave coming from the bridge. These machines look different. Toy box max. One of our spicier products. That's enough to kill it, right? damage than I would have liked. Maybe he's off a little tourist. There won't be anyone left to see the fireworks. Let's get ammunition at 50%. Engine to the time. A warship? Looks like the mega dogs have arrived. Batter up, Torky. That's the stuff. I mean, honestly, Droidicus were literally my first stall when I saw them. It was literally the first thing I thought when I saw them. <laughs> there is the predicted impact point. It just looks, they look so close to Droidica. I sent some missiles of my own. Like a little off. Well, close enough is good enough for me. But pill bugs, if I can see. I mean, I see it, but the droidica, uh, they just they look so similar. So get the stuff that one, Jen. I'd be shocked if they didn't draw at least some inspiration from the droidicas for the toy box. For the toy boxes. I'd be shocked if there wasn't at least inspiration there. Message. Chatty stick, the cheek, that's all.
I know it's keep I keep end up sliding the stick further and further back this way. One five intruder detected. Sharing all base personnel. Commencing threat evaluation. I'm on standby near Harlov, buddy. Patch me in. I wonder if the missiles are enough. Before I jump in. Code five. Did all of them not hit? Hey, or is it really not enough? A single the volley of these. That takes care of their external comms for now. Keep moving. I had to feed the so I couldn't I couldn't have like pet spiders. I couldn't do it. Two left. about how much the fucking like the fucking toy boxes, boxes do look like droidicos. It was I'm literally the first thing I thought when I saw fast. them, right? The the resemblance is is at least inspiration, I think. They they at least took inspiration. Right, there ain't no way. Target is approaching warship. Open fire! Keep the target away! Nah, that's not gonna work. External comms are out. What's going on? Looks like you've got them all, 621. You there, buddy? Bad news. The PCA's external comms are back online. They've got warships heading your way. Hold out till I reach you. There's the catch. Resupply while you can, 621. Like, sure, it's possible they just came up with it, like, completely separately. Oh, yeah, right. Single missile thing isn't enough. Handle it. The main squad will be here soon. Well, I think I started flying too early. It turned out all right. I mean, I get the, the distinct impression that there's just, like, no safe way to use Coral. Like, really? Four LCs and HCs. I got fucked up so hard. Confirmed. PCA craft destroyed. Me. I'm picking up something. And sometimes you, you just gotta know certain you've solved the problem. <laughs> it's underground. What? What? What is that thing? Another PCA weapon? This 
staying alive since two months. I don't know what that's from. Is the situation it is indeed a giant worm, though. It was honestly getting through this faster than I was expecting. Two new messages. Heard the news, tourist. I swore. <laughs> You just keep tripping up over well. Yeah, one time I actually had Rusty's AI follow me up to that little ridge. Sorry to impose. Only for it to subsequently jump back down. <laughs> After a while, like it went through like half of the cutscene and Rusty just decided to jump back down. <laughs> Into the ice worm area. Honest brute. Been a lot of time with this guy recently. You ready for the? Main system activating combat mode. Boy, I don't remember it then. All right, tourists. I played the Gears games, but um, Welcome so long. Fun. Well, I played um. I played the first three. I haven't played any of the more recent ones. We're here to take back what you stole from us. Oh heaven. You're a friend of Carla. Can you fuck off? Any friend of Carla is a friend of mine. Here's to new beginnings. By all means. Make sure you keep clear of the laser sensors. They're set to activate the enemy machines. A new friend from a bar just for me. What joy! Be still my beating heart. I'm waiting for you, friend. Actually, did I play the first one? Anyway, no, I don't think I played the first one. I think I only played two and three. The anticipation is part of the fun. But I it would have been a long time ago. I missed my landing! Missed it twice. I mean, I guess you could say that they're probably good relative to the corporations. Not that that says very much, right? <laughs> the brute. Let's trip the light fantastic. My friend, this is 
I got, I got a little cocky. Thank you. Looks like he's dead. Good. All right, tourist. I'll see about retrieving our secret project. We'll need it to go warm hunting. Raven. <laughs> I guess it is still uh I guess I still get to fight Raven, huh? Let's say no Raven fight, but yeah, Raven's still here. Kinda forget about him. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. Master Crown's pilot, Call Sign King, has an eighty nine point six percent mission success rate. His reputation for finesse is such that he's advertised as the ideal mercenary. Umbrox is piloted by Chartreuse, an aggressive bulldozer with unrivaled firepower. Those who have seen her at work call her an unstoppable force. Intercept what she targets. There's our mark. Go take care of the objective, King. I'll clip this one's place. I mean, right now, I'm basically playing Raven if Raven were as a Carla simp. Oh, you know. This is a great. You're just a Gen 4. You belong in a museum, not an AC. And every time I play like a build, a build like this, I'm reminded just how good kicks are, and I feel like I should use them way more, and I just never do. I mean, Chartreuse is clearly not used to losing, right? Augmented human, C4621. I mean, with an AC that tanky on that much damage, I can't imagine she loses very often. Just, just like the sheer ability to outlast most ACs and just dish out that kind of damage, right? Nice assault armor, bitch. I mean, what even would that be, though? A PCA build? Like, what does that even entail? All enemy ACs destroyed. Mission accomplished. Laser weapons? Because they use laser weapons? Like, I don't know. Uh, 
plasma weapons, I guess, right? They use some plasma weapons. No new messages. I just don't even know what I would do with ECA build. I've looked in head appearance. Now, soon on that wave. Okay, so shells, alright. So, um. Well, I don't know, since, um. I guess we want, if we want to res rep represent the, um. That, uh, laser lance thing, we've got. Well, the literal laser lance, and then, uh, you know, a shield. The shields I use are pretty square, so, you know, maybe use, um. Is it this one? Maybe this one. Something like that. Like a standard missile launcher, maybe. Maybe the plasma missile, actually. Um, I'm not sure, but they definitely use plasma weapons, so that gives you an excuse to use the VPN. So you use it. And maybe something like that? I don't know. I mean you got some some options on the on the melee weapon, but a few things you could use. Maybe after I finish the ice worm, I'll, I'll see about that a bit. Oh, that's still gonna make a build for my next video. Any um, any particular NPCs anyone's want to request from the next video? I remember someone asking for uh, somebody. According to the timestamp, this was recorded two days before the fires of Ibis. This seems to be about the warning signs of the calamity. Alright, right there's ADD line up. I don't remember what parts those are, but um... I mean, I was definitely already thinking like Archibus parts. For sure. This seems to be a recording of Domayan, the Liberation Front's ideological leader. This appears to be something exceptionally personal. I'm not planning to do a Guazu quite yet. There was something somebody asked. Look at the comment. Oh, someone else for uh, Flatwells to Bossa. Got a few likes on it. Already done Umbarox, bro. 
This is about the first augmented humans. The same coral technology that created you. But without it, we never would have made contact. I'm not picking up any more data stores. If this outing has made you think about Rubicon's past or the nature of coral. You imagine we get him pretty close to being done. There's really not that many mechs to go through. I'm gonna be done with the series. We got ourselves a deal, Handler Walter. Michigan. So I gave the better yeah, Mr. I don't even know what Flatwell has on his, uh, on his AC. Um. One. I mean, the Ice Worm is next, right? What? Your name is me. As always, I'm not going to torture myself by not using Sun Needle. You know, I say that every time because I'm just waiting for someone to come into the comment section of one of these and just start screeching about me not using the fucking or about me using the stun needle launcher like, like a professional outfit. Ah fuck What's that creep thing he is? I ain't here because I'm primary shield disabled. Shield loss confirmed. Initializing ORC firing sequence. Like it's already not that uncommon that someone comes in and says some really dumb shit that's just completely wrong. So, you know. Sighting correction A OK. 90, 95. I won't miss. Secondary shield down. I've seen some pretty like some pretty stupid comments to be honest. I think the people who think that like apparently all in-game bosses just dodge missiles and missiles are completely useless apparently. But I'll pass. Primary shield disabled. Shield loss confirmed. Preparing to fire rail cannon. Energy turbine output at 80. Meanwhile, I think the like all missiles run is like the easiest build I've done or the easiest run I've ever done. It's like the all missiles run. <laughs> it was just so fucking easy. Watch out for friendly fire. Secondary shield down. It's all yours now, buddy.
Yeah, I've gotten some real head scratchers, so I'm, I'm just waiting for one of these days that someone comes in and just, like, make a huge fucking deal out of me, not out of me using the stun needle for one of these runs. Primary shield is getting stronger. Stay cool, buddy. Two repair kits remaining. My favorites are the ones from people who like clearly didn't actually watch the video and you know, I just came to a conclusion in their head and just assumed it was that was the case. Oh man, those are always funny. Energy turbines at full capacity. Output at 80, 90. All emergency valves closed. Disabling limiter. 100, 110. You know, is that why I stopped doing um, like informational guy style videos a lot of the time? I know that's why I don't really do them anymore. It's like I got tired of answering questions that I answered in the video. Shit, me. The freelancer really did it. It really annoyed me whenever I got one of those comments where it's like, if they'd actually watched the video, they they would have had their question answered, but they just didn't watch it. The temporary alliance between the Ark. Augmented human C4621. Alright, now that we're doing that, we're gonna stop here with this run for the day. Uh, I actually think I wanna do design, work on the build on stream for a bit. <laughs> It's not like I need to start recording until I actually finish making the build, right? So, middle flat well. Where is his build? There it is. What are we working with? A full for Mesa set. Good. Fast. Frame set, okay. Burst machine gun, the burst rifle. Oh. Little gem. And a small missile. Alright. Alright. I haven't done either of those yet. Uh, someone asked for um, for uh, middle flat well, and then you had a couple of likes on the comments, so I figure I'll do it next. Seems like it's something that people are wanting. Hmm. Well, first I think I'll leave the Rensetsu RF alone. It's a really good weapon after all. Etsujin. I'm not really particularly familiar with this weapon. The Rincess is really good, so I'll leave that alone. No need to change that. It's already a good weapon. Definitely build up a stagger pretty quickly.
by itself is not fantastic but combined with the Nsetsu. I think on the upper breast, huh? I mean, I think kind of the obvious thing to hear, one, one thing here is just to replace this thruster, right? And then this thruster rifle might be holding this build back quite a bit. Uh, be slow. I, I get why it's using it. It's like, you know, like... Like it's supposed to be associated with a bird, and you can you know, really high upper thrust, but you know, my initial pr my initial like thought is just to slap on the Lula. Maybe the gills would be more fitting here, actually. Way better upwards thrust stance. It's still, you know, nothing like the grid walkers got, but... But his weapons aren't well suited for like a build that's focused on running away and like you know being like super high vertical above his opponent. So I don't know, man. I don't feel like a, I don't feel like it's a good match. Like obviously this thing doesn't have much range. Like the rinsasu has got decent range, but. Projectile speed on it isn't really enough to like justify being playing this far away with it. So, as much as I get what they were going for with the bird theme and and the high upward thrust thrusters, I think it's just fucking bad. <laughs> these are these are close range weapons, pretty much. Even the Rensetsu RF might as well be a close range weapon. With the projectile speed it has. Quite sure how I feel about it though. I feel like it's really um a matter. I think it matters. He's got the he's alive. Um That's not the worst FCS for this build. Um well, the Talbot is just better for it though. What's the what's the range on the Etsujun?
And it says who AR might be better suited for this build, actually. If he wants to play like the high, sort of high flying build with a decent range. But honestly, for the assault rifles, I don't really like many of these. The Rancesu RF is really fucking good, but like other than this one, like Frank, most of them kind of suck. I was the thing with the burst machine gun is that it's just got way better like DPS and like damage and like packed output. So it's like you could also just like play this as a more close range build, right? And like lean more into the burst machine gun. You don't you don't really use the Rensetsu RF's charge shot, really. Uh, the charge shot isn't very good because it locks you in, right? You don't really actually use the charge attack to be honest. You just do the regular shots. I don't know, do I transition this like a mid-range build and... Transitioning to the, um, like, switching this over to this would make it, like, uh, it a lot easier to get away with going something like this. Even this is ricocheting, though. I don't know. Is the range like actually even that much better? 153, 06. Then spend an extra 50 meters, huh? I feel like both of these weapons fucking suck. I feel like this would be way better. Got like the heavy mid-range poke. 
Got the like the close to mid range burst. Maybe have him take a page out of Rusty's book and slap on the Viento. If I'm going to do this, though, there's no reason to use the... Honestly, for real, like, the Alua's feel, you feel like the, uh, kind of the obvious option. One thing, we'll probably... Place the little gym. Majestic. One really obvious upgrade, just just give him the fucking Hokushi instead. <laughs> That's an easy upgrade. thing i just part of me really wants to keep the um keep a burst weapon though the fit theme but it serves the exact same purpose right so It's also a boss weapon, right? Or not a boss weapon. Uh, do I want to change any of these parts? I mean, the Prometheus of the Head's got decent attitude, stability, force, weight, good energy load. The Prometheus of the Core is obviously a really good lightweight core. Um, it does have pretty bad generator stats, so. Shave a lot of time off that um, that recharge delay. Yeah, but I kind of want to keep it in theme, right? And, like, obviously he's using the Majestic as a direct hit damage punish, right? Or the Bazooka as a direct hit damage punish. So, I'm kind of hesitant to completely get rid of the Bazooka. But, um... I can agree with switching out for the 6th cell, for sure. Honestly, part of me just wants to slap on the VPMs. <laughs> And it's just that good. <laughs> Even though it, you know, it doesn't exactly match theme-wise.
The VPMs are brutal. Like, it is my opinion that the VPMs are straight up overpowered. What about just two Brancet suits? And we keep the grid walker. Even use them to float to uh, stay flying infinitely really easily. Projectile speed, though, man. But the problem with this playstyle is the Rincesis just don't have good enough projectile speed to support it. And like this is against an MP, like just a, a really dumb AI, right? Forget against the player, against an AI that does literally anything other than just move around. I don't know. Now, we're doing this, uh, probably just put this back on, too. Might as well get that big, uh, medium range assist, right? Oh, yeah, maybe the extra medium range assist will help a lot. I feel like it definitely does help. Hmm. 
All right, I think I like this. Let's go test it out in like an actual mission. There's enemies that do more than just move side to side. <laughs> Ooh, bazooka plus RF and another back missile? That's a pretty good idea too. I'm gonna try this build out real quick. I'm gonna try this version out, and then I'm gonna try um, try that idea. I mean, I do. It'd be, it'd be another missile. The back unit would be. I'm gonna put another one on. I'd definitely just put another missile launcher on. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. Master Crown's pilot, Paul Sun King, has a 89.6% mission success rate. His reputation for finesse is such that he's advertised as the ideal mercenary. Umbrox is piloted by Chartreuse, an aggressive bulldozer with unrivaled firepower. Those who've seen her at work call... Pushing the Abacore out, I think, was a great idea. That extra, like, fifth a second off of the, uh, recharge time really helps a lot. I mean, this already feels pretty good as is. It's not exactly like got super good DPS or anything, but um. Together. I mean, Chartreuse was literally able to do nothing to me. Literally, just can't get up to me. Definitely the uh, DPS is not really there though. We will see if you can do it justice. Apologies for the delay, King. You're late. The imposter already got your troops. We can't take chances. AP at 50%. That pilot must be the original. I think the extra missiles, um, Thank you, and using a uh, bazooka in hand. I think this is a really good idea, though. I guess it doesn't have to be missiles. I feel it. 
It's not exactly fitting in theme, but you know. <laughs> The one thing to consider is that I am technically making these builds for an NPC. And, uh, you know, the AI, the AI aren't particularly intelligent. If you give them verticals, a lot of times they'll slap them in the ceilings. Maybe just another forward firing six. Try to keep it from getting too heavy. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. Aster Crown's pilot, Callsign King, has an 89.6% mission success rate. His reputation for finesse is such that he's advertised as the ideal mercenary. Umbrox is piloted by Chartreuse, an aggressive bulldozer with unrivaled firepower. Those who've seen her at work call her an unstoppable force. Intercept the two targets. <laughs> There's our Merc. Go take care of the objective, King. I'll clip this one's wings. Not alone. This is a branch mission. I'll support you. Not to mention, since you're, since you're playing like this and you're kind of just going to be constantly staying right above them, it's way harder to get punished for staying still for firing the bazooka, right? You really can't afford to just fire the bazooka way more often than, than normally. It's kind of hard to find like the right distance to maintain.
like it. Mm, I do think I actually did worse with this setup. All right. Well, Is playing worse though. It's not the type of build I'm used to playing. I don't normally play these sort of like slowly chip down the opponent style kind of build. It is so tempting. How good the plasmas are. I kind of feel like this was better. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. Astrochrome's pilot, Callsign King, has an 89.6% mission success rate. His reputation for finesse is such that he's advertised as the ideal mercenary. Underox is piloted by Chartreuse, an aggressive bulldozer with unrivaled firepower. Those who've seen her work call her an unstoppable force. Intercept the two targets. There's our mark. Go take care of the objective, King. I'll clip this one's wings. Not alone. This is a branch mission. I'll support you. I ran out of energy. This is a great. It's the Gen 4. You belong in a museum, not an AC. Managing my energy very well. Together, Chartreuse. You don't know when to quit. Just like all the other reasons. Looks like it was a false alarm for our friend. Fucking Wombo. Intercept the two targets. Mark. Go take care of the objective, King. I'll clip this one's wings. Not alone. This is a branch mission. I'll support you. You don't know when to quit. Just like all the other ravens. This pilot's no raven. Don't let the call sign mislead you. He's got no burst damage at all. This is great. It's hard to actually kill anything. Looks like it was a false alarm. And now I can't even finish the mission with this build. Merc. Go take care of the 
objective, King. I'll clip this one's wings. Not alone. This is a branch mission. I'll support you. I just need to play closer. This is great. It's the Gen 4. And just like kind of kite above them. Instead of trying to just be super, super high above them. Kind of float like just a little bit above them like this. You don't know when to quit. Just like all the other ravens. This pilot's no raven. Don't let the call sign mislead you. Huh? I thought for sure it was dead. Or she was dead. Oh, that's the thing you could do. No repair kit remaining. That shield is a big problem for this build. You're strong. Worthy of your name. AC Astro Crown destroyed. Thank you, Kate. We've lost both of them. Just fucking sucks. Holy shit. I think double ran set suit's just not gonna work. Let's see if this is any better. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. Astro Crown's pilot, Callsign King, has an 89.6% mission success rate. His reputation for finesse is such that he's advertised as the ideal mercenary. Is piloted by Chartreuse, an aggressive bulldozer with unrivaled firepower. Those who've seen her at work call her an unstoppable force. Intercept the two targets. There's our mark. Go take care of the objective, King. I'll clip this one's wings. Not alone. Oh, I've got them on the wrong side. No rape. Don't let the call sign mislead you. 
don't know, I think this feels better. My energy. Already, this definitely seems way better. That fucking bazooka shot missed. Two repair kits remaining. AP at fifty percent. Left hand ammunition at fifty percent. It does the same problem though. There's just not much damage output. This is more of a challenge than I'd anticipated. AP at thirty percent. no fucking damage. I play closer enough for this to work. And I can't just help but feel like trying to like lean into this play style that the build wants is just bad. Like sort of slow, kitey sort of play style. I think it just sucks. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. Astrochrome's pilot, Call Sign King, has an 89.6% mission success rate. His reputation for finesse is such that he's advertised as the ideal mercenary. Unbox is piloted by Chartreuse, an aggressive bulldozer with unrivaled firepower. Those who see that work call her an unstoppable force. Intercept two targets. There's our Merc. Go take care of the objective, King. I'll clip this one's wings. Not alone. This is a branch mission. I'll support you. This is a great. It's the Gen 4. You belong in the museum, not the AC. And this is definitely going better. Yeah, the closer range play style, I think, is definitely the way. For sure. As expected, mid and long range builds are just bad.
I don't know why I didn't make that. Okay, yeah, that's definitely way better. Just, I don't know why I was even trying to play like close or like mid mid range build. That was just that was my own fault. I was just being fucking stupid. That's what I get for trying to play anything other than close range build. That's what I get. But in that case, I definitely wanna I'm gonna double down on the Talbot choice. I think. I'm gonna want to keep the grid walker though. Actually, I think the playstyle for this build to sort of like lean into his like original sort of theme is just simply like float right above their head, basically, right, and just make it really hard for them to target you. Literally, just stick right on their head, basically. I actually wonder, maybe the core actually might be better for that playstyle. Uh, I mean, the, the booster adjustment's only a little different. Only slightly less. Not enough to make a difference, I think. I think the extra recharge delay reduction is probably better overall. Even though the Okushi is a massive upgrade for this build, this is a this is like probably the biggest one. More energy, uh, like capacity, better energy supply efficiency, better recharge speed, basically. I know Hukushi just like a, it's probably like the biggest difference maker here, I think, actually. With the extra weight, we do, we are kind of like pushing like the border of what this build can carry. Or like these boosters can carry, so you know. The Formaza Core could help there if we needed it, but we don't. The energy defense is spooky, though. Oof, the energy defense on this thing is spooky. I mean, the defenses in general on this thing are pretty spooky. But that energy defense... I'm pretty firmly in the, in the in the camp of energy defense is by far the most important defense in the game. No. <laughs> Having such such uh, low energy defense kind of scares me. Um. I think I'm happy with this though. I'm happy with what it means. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the stream up, take a break, and then work on the, and make uh, you know make the video. Uh, remember tomorrow we're gonna be playing Monster Hunter on stream. Uh, if you, I don't remember if Monster World is Pete is crossplay or not. If Monster World is crossplay, then anyone could join. Otherwise, if you got Monster World on, on PC, feel free to join me tomorrow. Don't worry about carrying me through the game or anything i'm not a new player to world or a must hunter in general so uh yeah that's tomorrow i'm going to i am going to release a video tomorrow i'm going to release a video as normal and an hour after the video comes out is when i'll start the must hunter stream all right <sighs> anyways i will catch you guys tomorrow for the video and the stream until then thanks for hanging out i appreciate it take it easy and have a good one everybody